I'm working on a 986. I'm putting in the main bearings right now. Right now I'm going to tape gauge them. This is the wax string. So what I'm going to do is actually just put a little piece on there right now like this can come off. What I'm going to do now, how much this thing squishes the different thousands of an inch, is then I'm going to see a reference in the uh, IT book here. So anyways, we're going to uh, put that up there right now. Okay, so we're going to stick this on. Find out the... I'm going to go underneath where the main bearings are. So that's one step. I'm going to do one by one. That's going to be just my goal today. So how we count the engine where one main bearing, two main bearing, three. If you can actually see, there is actually a number on there. There's just four, five, six. I still have that in and seven. So anyways, we're going to work on this one here. So everything needs to be put with the arrows that way. So what I do is I've got that line there and that's going to squish. That's called a tape gauge. If I put it against here, it's going to hit that hole. So I got to make sure, and I think I remember now the mechanic telling me that. So I'm just going to move it in a different area here. I think I can crank this. Oh, that'll work. All right. Okay, it's so this is... See, what I can do is probably just snug these up here. Okay, so I got them on snug. Now we'll take the torque wrench. Where the heck did the thing go? Oh, don't tell me I have to get up again. Oh, it's on this side. Why didn't you guys tell me it's on this side? Just can't quite get 115 pounds out of this. There we go. Okay, that's good. I like to just do it just to make sure. That's good. Okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to take that one off. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the one we just put on. I just want to see where the, uh, how that tape gauge has been, uh, squished. So I want that thing to fall on you. Okay. Uh, you can see the mark up over there. I'll look at the mark. This is the mark that we made right here. So now we want to... Go on this gauge here, four thousandths of an inch. So now I'm going to look at what our clearance should be, four thousandths of an inch. So anyways, it's 0.1. So I am actually good. I'm underneath that threshold, so we are good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a whole bunch of oil on this side, inside here, because this is where the crankshaft is going to go. I'll be putting this back on. Okay. Now that's got to go. That hurt. Hit me square in the... Oh, ow. That hit me right in the middle of the glasses. <laughs> I just feel a little more comfortable just kind of snugging it by hand. That is in the right direction. I hope to put it on and never take it off. Okay, this is nice and snug now. Torque. 
so we can actually get the right amount of torque on it. So I'm set at 115 pounds, which what they want. There we go, that makes sense. There we go. Okay. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna double check. Cause I'm one main bearings in already. I'm gonna double a couple of things. I'm gonna double check to make sure this is working properly. Before I go a little bit too far. Okay, anyways. It's good. We're getting there. Slow but surely. Main bearing bo uh, bolt torque, 115 pounds. So I got one main bearing in. I still got five more to go. There's a total of six on there, but I'm only going to put the five because it's very hard to get. Very hard. I'm going to put six. Very hard to get the front one on. And all the bearings actually look really good. So, uh,. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I know how to use my torque wrench properly. So I'm going to find some YouTube to do that. And I'm just going to call the mechanic just to make sure that everything is, what I'm doing is right. Testing gravity today. <laughs> a bolt hit me. It was just right in the bench and it went right for me. Wow, son of a gun. Holy moly. Good thing it didn't break my brains out. Okay, well, let's take some of the bearings off. I'm going to try to take the upper part of the bearing on one of the bearings here. What number are we going to do now? We're going to do... Uh, uh, we're going to do number two. Why don't we do number two? Okay. Let's see. What I'm going to just do is I'm just going to take a screwdriver and poke this out of here. going good actually what I do is I just got a, a hacksaw blade so in order for me to slide out the uh, upper bearing I uh, used a old hacksaw blade so uh, if you think that I used a hacksaw to cut something on the crankshaft that probably was wouldn't be a very wise idea so that's what I did and uh, it worked and I think you can get a special tool that can also take the uh, upper bearing out but uh, the uh, use the uh, hacksaw blade and uh, that worked fine I wonder if I can get on this tab here oh yeah success good so, I have to admit these bearings are pretty good I don't know if I needed to do the bottom end on this thing uh, you know it's been a good tractor to me so far Two upper. Okay, so that now we need another one of these. Put a bunch of oil on this one here. It's supposed to be some special oil of some sort. So we're gonna stick this one in. Clean this off here. So maybe it'll go in a little bit easier. Okay, so we are the one. Okay, try to get it on straight so that I don't have any issues later on. I go to take my family, my gloves off, do da. Oh boy. I think it's going on very straight here we go uh, get the screwdriver looks like we're going on a little bit crooked here Let's see how we can do this here. Okay, 
Okay, so far so good. Uh, I think it's going a lot a little crooked because it's got to fit with this tab over there. That one went a lot easier than the other one. Okay, I'm happy. Well, that job is done. I've got the main bearings in. I put the uh, six bearings in. I did not do anything with the front bearing because it's very hard to get at. And the rest of the bearings, they actually look pretty good. And uh, I don't think there's anything. There was only one that I noticed. It was number three. It had a little bit of a scarring over here, but compared to the other ones, everything else looked really good. So, anyways, uh, that uh, job is done for now. The next step is to get pistons in. I'm getting some help, as I'm not sure what I'm doing. So, he's going to be the tractor mechanic that's coming in today. Which one are we doing here? Three or four? We are doing number three. Number three. Okay. okay. Tilt the body. Okay, now I gotta place them down here. Well, I got the hard stuff done, got the pistons in. The head is in here already, so I'm happy with that. I'm really glad for Quality Repair for giving me a hand to do this. And I uh, hope you folks enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one.